Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, and travel show. I'm Michael Horn. That is Paul Stern. So apparently avocados are in trouble now, too. I picked up this story over the uh, 4th of July weekend because in Peru, where we get, they've now uh, okayed importing avocados from Peru when our avocado season is uh, over with. And apparently there's a, a pest that gets in the avocado. Uh, that actually bores into it, and uh, it's a, a threat, they say, that could wipe out or damage our $300 million a year avocado injury. The, the culprit is this thing called the stenoma catifer. It's better known as the avocado seed moth. It's native to South America, and the moth actually burrows into the fruit, lays its eggs to grow its larvae, and it screws up the entire avocado because it goes into the seed to lay its eggs and so it damages the the whole avocado now they're importing these avocados from peru they're saying the u.s government says it is allowing imports from peruvian avocado uh, growers uh, starting in january but the, the growers in our country think it's just a matter of time before this moth arrives in this country even though the uh, the u.s government says they the u.s department of agriculture says that there's guidelines that are going to kind of protect California avocados and other avocados from the Peruvian moth. So I'm worried now because avocados are already high, but the actual avocado, you can hold that up on the uh, camera over there, it actually burrows in. If you go to our website at crntalk.com, we've got the webcam streaming, and uh, it just goes into the soft part of the avocado, goes right into the seed, and uh, not a pretty sight. Yeah, nothing I like more than when I go to my favorite Mexican restaurant uh, than to order what they call Tableside guacamole with larvae. Uh, no, not with no, not without larvae. Mutually, they'll use what I believe to be the Haas avocado. Yeah, and it's good, and they make it right there, tableside. But what if they cut open your avocado and you saw this moth in there? That would like turn you off to avocados forever. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't mean to have that look on your face. It's like I didn't mean. It's not happening yet, but it could. You want to watch out for it. If somebody goes to a cheaper avocado, you know, like the cost cutters there in accounting here at CRN decide they're going to go in and get the lesser brand Peruvian avocados that may have this uh, moth in there, and then it gets into the other avocados. These avocado guys barely make a profit. That's why they're so expensive avocados. No, like I said, nothing I like more than table-side guacamole. That, uh, that many of your uh, better Mexican restaurants, uh, that's what they do. Have you gone to El Sombrero in Eagle Rock, California? I've not been to a restaurant called El Sombrero. The greatest Mexican restaurant. It is okay. on the El Cholo uh, level. Do they have table, table side, side? Do they have table side guacamole? Oh yeah, I'm taking you there. Oh, that's not. I'm actually delicious. taking you and Eric Hines there. Because oh. Hines, I think, likes good. He likes spicy stuff. So the guacamole, we should go there because it will be your favorite. You will actually drive there. You'll take the family to this Mexican restaurant. It is that good. And the one you want to order is like the table, the, uh, you get the, uh, the, the, the taco, you get the enchilada, and the chili relleno and the plate combination. I do, I that's do, the best. That's, what I, that's actually a number four at my favorite Mexican restaurant. What's your favorite? Uh, it's called Don Antonio's, Casa Don Antonio. Don Antonio yeah. or Don and Tony? No, no, Don Antonio, not Don and Tony. Oh, Don Antonio. Well, Antonia was uh, is the girlfriend or something with uh, Greg Hunter, I think. Antonia. So is it Don and Antonias or is it no, Don no, and Don, Tonys? No, no, Don Antonios. It, so Don Antonios. Don Antonios. Okay. And and when I'm I there, I like to you eat. You should be able to eat there for free now. Yeah. When I'm there, I like to eat in the cave. Although, yeah, the although there is something I gotta say. That sounds good. That although, sounds I, I, you know, we don't have a lot of time, but at one of my main objection or my only objection with Casa Don Antonio, yes, is that when you order a Coca Cola, they do not give you free refills, and yet they offer throughout the meal if they can bring you another Coke quite incessantly. They run it up. That's how they do it, man. You ever see that? Thing? Like eighty dollars for Coca Colas, plus you get bloated. I go out of there eating. You, uh, you have to be careful having Coca-Cola with Mexican food. That will do you in, and your stomach will swell up for about a week. That's all the time we have. For Paul Stern, I'm Michael Horn. Check out the website at crntalk.com for Eric Hines and Jack Roberts. Eat well, everybody.